Hey YouTubers, it's J and B from JB Coins. We've accumulated a fair amount of coins that I haven't had a chance to go through. So I've got five boxes of quarters that I'm going to try and go through. I already opened one because I was kind of anxious to see if we got any new circulated, uh, you know, uncirculated coin. And this one pretty obvious that it's circulated so haven't opened these other ones yet I'm gonna open them up real quick and show you what they are and then I'm gonna start sorting I got a lot of coins to go through well they're all circulated but don't forget circulated also includes the 2020s which you could have W's you could have error coins and it's possible I've seen 2021 Tuskegee Airmen in my change already. So even though I couldn't get a roll, you never know what you're going to find in these things. So take four of them off the table and start tearing into them. And when we get done, we'll show you what we found. I figure there's about... $500 box of quarters, 40 quarters to the roll, that's 2,000 coins. So I've got about 10,000 quarters to go through. See you at the wrap. Alrighty then. This is <laughs> after five boxes of quarters, um, which we did over time. We didn't wind up... Uh, having the time to do them all at once. So we, we did four, and then I had to finish the last one. And so some of the coins I put in tubes and, and you know, grouped them. Uh, and then I put them back out on the table here in order because now I have to go through them. So I've got a couple of rolls here that I wanted to show you that are brand new salt marsh from what I can tell on that end. And on this one, there's a brand new salt marsh on one end and showing Denver on on the uh, Washington side. Why that's important, this whole pile here is salt marsh quarters. This is Razak's discovery, discovery coin, WDDR001, that he sent to us. Mr. Wexler gave this the designation WDDR001 because the initials on either side of the roots are doubled. Now, since then, someone else has found a DDR on the front on the Philadelphia. So the DDO, I mean the DDR, excuse me, that Razek found is on the Denver. The DDO is on <laughs> the Philadelphia. So we still have all of that out there and those two rolls to go through to sort Denver versus Philly. And then we can look under the microscope with them. Uh, this one we know because it's been certified. <laughs> We've also got all these coins here. So what I'm going to do to make this easier is I'm going to try and get these coins, I'm going to show you these coins and get them out of my way so that I can work and focus on this pile of salt marshes over here. Now, start with the lower value and work my way up, I guess. Here's some foreign coins here. There's Queen Elizabeth, really nice Canadian quarter. Beautiful shape, 2007. So, I mean, that's, that's a very nice coin. Uh, there's a 1993, looks like Uncle Ho there. I'm not sure really, really uh, didn't spend a lot of time. This one looks like it might be from India. And this one, our buddy, Mr. Balboa, size of a quarter. We usually find them in the half dollar bin uh, or when we do this okay 1940 and 1964 silver 90 percenters 
Not bad. 1995 and 1999. This is a Connecticut. S. Decam proof. Kind of hard to get this thing to focus on that, but that's what it is. It's an SD cam proof. There you go. You can see the black fields. So we got two S proofs here. Whoops. Just knocked Mr. Balboa off here. Here we have something that we've kind of already to some extent forgotten about. But not me. 2019 Lowell. W. Two thousand twenty Rockefeller, or Marsh Billings Rockefeller, if you want to get picky. W and the V seventy five. There's the V seventy five on it. And two thousand twenty. We are farm V seventy five W. So we got three W's here. Two of them are V seventy fives. By the way, the the We are farm, that's all of these. <laughs> uh, Rockefeller is, I believe Rockefeller's in a tube over here. Yeah, tube of Rockefellers. We've got a tube of tall grass. We'll check those. We have a tube of Keeper Bicentennial Borders. We just stuck that on the end. So those basically we just, you know, put the cap on it, call it a day, right? Um, so what we still have to go through basically on the table, we've got District of Columbia, the Duke Ellington quarters right here. We've got the Bat quarters. We've got the Tuskegee Airmen quarters. These are all older coins. Uh, these are basically the 2009 territories. Some of them are hard to get, and these are in beautiful condition. There's a 2010 Hot Spring. There's about three of them that are like brand new. Uh, we got about, mm, looks like five Tuskegee Airmen here that are really nice. Couple of 65s, a couple or a 66 and 370s, and we'll check these because they have issues too. And then we've got Amer uh, American Samoa, I believe this is American Samoa, um, American Memorial, excuse me, I'm sorry, American Memorial. So we have this one. So we have those to check these to check. These are going to get put in flips right away so they don't get messed up. Got to check these real quick. And like I said, most of this stuff we can just kind of get out of our way right now and keep Razak's reference coin handy. And basically sort through these. I think what we're going to do is sort through these by PNDs first. And we'll crack these open and make sure because they look like they're all Denver. At least looking at these guys, they're both Denver. So Razak's Discovery Coin is a Denver, as I said. So we have two solid rolls here, it looks like, and all of this. And we have these here. These I already went through. These are the tall grass. We didn't have very many of these. In fact, somebody sent us uh, some. Um, so we just added them to what we found. We, we found about that much in the boxes that's how little we found and they send us this by mail so full disclosure these are not from the box so we'll put these over here uh, we've got the Rockefellers to check like I said the bicentennials we can put over here because we don't need to check them and um, war in the Pacific the Alamo um, river of no return and um, Tuskegee Airmen. I mean, those are basically all we have to really check. These get slabbed. This gets slabbed. Uh, these go in the silver pile. These go 
uh, and get slabbed. And um, and these go in the 2009 tube. And we still got to dig through these, sort those out. That way we can pull them forward. And we're going to be using the microscope for that too. So the microscope's going to be sitting here. We're going to be going one coin at a time through that whole pile. So we'll get back with you. Okay, well here's the final wrap. There's the two S proof coins that I found, the two silver coins that I found. Here's the three W's that I had found. I put them in slabs, right? And out of that huge pile of stuff that I had out on the table, I didn't keep any of the little um, die chips and things like that. Um, a lot of the coins were in really rough condition. They weren't really worth keeping because even though they might have a die chip, the overall condition of the coin was kind of like, you know, something like that where, you know, what do you do? Send that in and say, oh, I got a, I got a die chip or a die cut over here. They're going to look at you and laugh, right? But in going through all of those coins, the lulls, you have to check both sides because there's an error over here where there's die chips that get up in this tower. There's a, a church tower in the background of this open window, and that can get all balled up with uh, die chips. And there's a few other places on here too. But it's a beautiful condition coin, and I flipped it over, and <laughs> I guess the first pass through... I missed that little W on the lower right hand side there. I don't know if it'll focus. Yeah, right there. So I found another W. So that's two Lowell W's and one, I guess they call this the Rockefeller W and one Marsh, what is this, Weir Farms. So that's not bad. Four W's, a couple of proof coins, and a couple of silvers. So enjoy, everybody. Have a great weekend with what's left, and hopefully see you at our next live stream. And until then, continue to watch our videos, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, tell us in the comments section what you like and don't like about the video or any of the other videos. Be part of our channel. Be involved. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you'd like to see. Uh, send us an email. Don't put something out in the public of what you'd like to see. Send us a private email. Anyway, have fun, enjoy, God bless, and see you all next time.